Monday mornings are not fun for me, maybe for you, not for me. And Monday mornings are a perfect recipe for a meltdown disaster. I'm talking toddler tantrum size right here. If I do not have my outfits planned at least for two to three days, ideally a week, but that's sometimes pushing it depending on how I'm feeling. So I really need to make sure that my week st starts out good, um, especially on a Monday, because that'll definitely carry through the whole day if my day starts with me feeling like I don't have anything to wear, I feel ugly, I feel fat, this doesn't look right, this doesn't match, this is awful, what are people gonna say? My hair looks terrible, <sighs> all the things. We know what I mean, right? We've all been there, Monday, Monday. So let's pick out our outfits. Now, what I like to do is decide what I'm gonna wear for the week based on weather and based on if I'm actually going to be seeing clients coming into the office. So I typically don't, thank God, because I mean, face-to-face -face human interaction, no. So we're going to pick some outfits Fridays. I'm in the office this week, four days. One of those days is a casual day. Casual day just means you can wear jeans and not a gross top, like a still a professional top, but you could wear denim. So I'm going to pick an outfit for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. I'm not, because I'm off on Thursday. I'm off on Thursday, I'm working from home on Thursday, so I won't plan my outfit for that day. Friday, I'm in, in the office, but I'm not gonna plan my outfit for that day either, because it's jeans. I know I have clean jeans, I'll figure it out, I'll make it work. That's just too much brain power for the end of the week. So I can do three days. So let's start with, I wanna make sure that I have all my tights, pantyhose, if I need socks, underwear, bras, all of that stuff, right down to the nitty gritty. It's so important for me to make sure that I have what I need because there's nothing worse than getting ready and all of a sudden it's like, oh my God, I need a black bra and it's in the washing machine. <laughs> Been there, done that, black bra, white shirt kind of day, except you change your white shirt and you put something else on. Okay, so let's get started here. I'm gonna pull a few things and see where this takes us. All right, so I've got a black skirt that I'm going to be wearing, and then I have up here tights. So I keep black tights. I keep a pair of black tights, navy tights, dark brown tights. Um, these are totally solid. There's no see-through. I don't like wearing um, see-through unless it's just a nude pantyhose um, in the winter time. So with this skirt, I'm not going to wear a nude pantyhose. I'm just going to wear black. This is also um, lot. No, yeah, it is. It's lined on the inside. So if you wanted to wear a nude, you could. You're not going to see through the skirt. So I'm going to wear these with it. And then I know that the weather isn't going to be awful. So I have a pair of black shoes that are already in my front closet that I'm going to wear so I don't have to make any extra plans for bringing secondary boots because sometimes if the weather is really bad I'll wear boots to work take those off and then switch into obviously my work shoes so that I'm not walking around in rain boots or winter boots all day because they can be really heavy and clunky and definitely ruin your outfit so I need a top for my skirt I've got pantyhose I'll just stick that with it and I want something simple because this is ruffly. So I want something very easy and simple to go with it. So I think I'm going to stick with this. I think this is cute. So this I can tuck in and It'll be cute. It has a ties in the front. So like a little bow tie and then you just tuck it in the front and it'll be super cute. So this is my first outfit for the week. Easy, done and done. So I've got that here. Outfit number one is done and ready to go. And I know I don't need any special undergarments or anything fancy like that. I typically try to buy my clothes so they don't require any fancy garments. So there's that. Okay, so we're going to be moving on to now day number two. I'm going to be wearing a skirt again. So I've got this simple black, just a stretchy skirt, nothing fancy. I'm going to wear uh, this black skirt and I've got a cute little 
striped top that'll go so cute with it. It's just a simple um, striped t-shirt. I know it seems really basic, but it'll be cute. So like that. Not easy putting outfits together on camera. All right. So I've got this and then I've got a long cardigan. So this is perfect. So I'm going to have a nice long cardigan over the t-shirt. So it'll sort of take away that t-shirty feel. And I will definitely add earrings to this outfit just to elevate it a little, little bit. And voila, skirt. So what I'm gonna do with these ones is I will wear my nude nylons for this and a simple black pair of shoes that I would generally wear every day to work. I typically don't wear heels in the winter, especially like the deep winter, because you just never know how the temperature and the weather's gonna change throughout the day or five minutes from now. And that is just broken bones waiting to happen. This isn't, this isn't sex in the city, ladies. We don't wear heels in the winter. That's just redonk. We don't do that. Okay, outfit number three, let's do this. What am I gonna wear for outfit number three? Let's see. I'm already wearing a black skirt this week. I'm wearing two black skirts this week. Not that that's ever stopped me from wearing black skirts all week. <laughs> There's another black skirt. So I think maybe then what I'm gonna do is switch to some pants. Because I feel like by the time I get to Um, the middle of the week or just when I'm feeling a little bit more lazy I'm gonna want pants so even though I've made up these outfits they're not necessarily gonna be Monday Tuesday Wednesday they could be whatever I'm feeling that morning so I'm not gonna assign and say I have to wear this on Monday or I have to wear this on Thursday or Friday or whatever they're ready so when I get up in the morning it's how I feel like dressing so I know at least once a week I'm gonna want to wear some cozy clothes that you know obviously still have to look nice so I'm gonna wear my brown corduroy khaki corduroy I know corduroy is still kind of casual but I can kind of get away with it so I get away with it and I really really like um where is my white okay so I do like pink with it except I have a white collared shirt and I don't know I wonder if it Got tucked into somebody else's closet. Actually, I'm not gonna wear that. I'm gonna wear this. This is so cute. I like this. This is just a very simple <clears throat> black top, square top that I can wear with these pants. And then I have a dressy pair of shoes, like black shoes. I will, I will wear a necklace. I'll wear a bracelet. And I will also wear earrings just to elevate this outfit. If I find that it's not enough, I might remove the necklace and just add a scarf so that it just looks a little dressier. So this is going to be an outfit this week for sure. Easy peasy. Again, no fancy garments, just simple <laughs> black underwear. If you guys are wondering sort of what my undergarment situation is, I have talked about it on here before. It's very simple. Uh, black, simple <laughs> underwear. All my underwear is black unless I have to wear some type of specialty underwear. By specialty underwear, that means it only goes to nude, thong, or black thong, like string. That's it. There's no fancy lace. There's no nothing. I don't want to see any bumps on the bum when you're wearing underwear. I can't stand that. It also feels really weird on me. So I keep it simple because I don't want to have to think about it. I don't want to have to decide. I don't want to think, oh my God, is this going to be, you know, can you see my underwear through my pants? Nope. I need to have tried, trued, and tested, working, no thinking required. Just get out of bed, put my stuff on, and go. I hope this has helped you and encouraged you to try to get your outfits ready for the week. Even if that means you're just getting your pajamas ready for the week, or let's say you work in a hospital setting and you wear uniforms and you think, I don't have to do that. Well, guess what? It would be nice to set yourself up because once upon a time, many, many moons ago, I worked in an office setting that I had to wear a medical uniform. And even though I had eight or nine sets to get through the whole week, or if there was like an accident or something, you'd have a few extra, 
they were always ready to go. Just one extra sitting in the car, one extra in the office, everything's clean and ready to go. This is just, I'm telling you, it'll save your sanity because this girl has had more meltdowns than the entire population of three-year-olds in the world that have ever had a tantrum. I promise, it has been that epic. So epic that I've called in sick. So epic that I've called in sick two days in a row. So epic that I have missed an entire day of work. That's how much it messes with my head if I'm not trying to plan and reduce my stress for the week. I know, sounds crazy, small things like that, but I don't keep a big closet and I like that. I don't wanna have a lot of choices. It's too much, it's frustrating for me. So if I keep pieces that I love, that I always wear, they're generally neutral tone, I'm good, I'll just mix it up. And I'm okay with wearing the same piece to work. So for example, if I'm wearing these corduroy pants during the week on a lazy day, I might wear these again on my casual Fridays and then just put maybe a dressier top with it or something. But I don't care if I wear it twice in a week, that doesn't bother me. And if somebody has a comment about it, then good for you. That's. I'm glad you noticed. I'm I'm flattered that you're paying attention. That's all I can say. So if anyone makes a comment to you about it, just say thank you. That's really flattering that you've noticed. Same thing. Like if I have to wear this cardigan again, I will. Like it's, it doesn't bother me. I prefer to have a smaller closet, more um, curated wardrobe. Curated, like it's fancy stuff. Believe me, this is mostly Amazon because... <laughs> Because of my dogs, my clothes get ruined so easily that I, I have a hard time investing in really beautiful clothing. This is what happens when you grow up and you become an adult and you get pets or you have children. You have to make different money choices like buying clothes that aren't going to make you mad or sad if they get ripped, puked on, torn, destroyed, whatever. I feel like I'm blabbing. I love you guys. Thank you so much for being here. If you've taken anything away from this video, I would love to hear from you. Leave a comment down below. Consider subscribing. Love you guys and see you again soon. Bye for now.